Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll discuss about what is extended transition function for NFA. In the last video, we discussed about what is uh, extended transition function for a DFA. A non-deterministic finite automata is something like we have multiple possibilities. Like a non-determinism occurs like from a state on an input, we have multiple way, place where it can move on. Or sometimes it has an um, no path at all. Okay, so that is your non-determinism. And the extended transition function is like, what is a transition function from a state on an input, we have a movement. So that is called a transition function. So extended transition function is when you take some set of inputs from a state on the set of inputs after processing all this input sequentially one after one, where does it leads to? So that is called extended transition function. So extended transition function for uh, NFA it's written as like it is similar to that of your DFA criteria. Like we have the same formula, del cap. Del cap is the representation that you are using for del is the representation for transition function. So how does we write a transition function from a state on an input? When, when, when it is your NFA, it may be a null transition or you may have some set of transitions to P1, P2, any set of transition. So this is your normal transition function for NFA, whereas extended transition function is from a state on some set of inputs. So this W represent input strings on some set of inputs. Where does it lead to? Okay, it may be leading to some set of states too. Okay, it might not be always single state. It might be in a, some set of states. Okay, so this is called extended transition function. So uh, for extended transition function can be converted to a single transition function like this, like any extended transition function of any state with epsilon as an input, it stays in the same state. Epsilon is a place where it doesn't have any input at all. Without consuming any of the input symbol, a state will remain itself. Okay, so that is the meaning of it. Extended transition function for any state on epsilon as input, it reminds itself. And uh, this is the split of it. Like when you, when this W can be splitted as X comma A. So A is an alphabet. X might be any set of elements and A is the last element. Then this del cap of Q comma W or Q comma X A can be written as del of del cap of Q comma X comma A. Okay. So the only difference between your extended transition function of NFA and DFA is in case of your DFA, it is always a single set. Like all the results, you'll be having one single state. Like from a state on an input, it exactly goes to a single place. But when it comes to NFA, we have a multiple possibilities. So I'll take one example. I'll take this uh, transition. I'll just take one uh, place where you have all possible criteria. Q2. I'll take this as a uh, state A comma B and input end with AB. Okay, so this is a non-deterministic finite automata that accepts all the input that end with AB. Now I'll just consider one example W as A, A, B, B. Okay, A, A, B. Okay, one place where you should have a confusion. Okay, fine. Now we'll see the extended transition function. I'll show you how does it can be written. So start from extended transition function of from the state Q0 on input as A, A, B, how to process this. Okay. So it is like your normal case of uh, extended transition function. We can split it like this. So del cap in terms of del can be written as del cap of Q0 comma A, A, and this B can be taken out. Okay. And in turn, it can be written as del of del cap of Q naught comma. We'll have this A alone inside and we'll remove this out. Okay. And again, repeat the same process. Del of del of del of Q naught comma. So you have only one input inside, right? So this can be written as del cap of Q naught comma epsilon. We keep epsilon inside and A out. Okay. And B. 
okay now for this we know that del cap of any state on epsilon as input you will get the result as the state itself right so here you will be getting the state as q not itself so we'll be having del of del of del of q not comma a comma a comma b okay so now what is the transition of q not on a Q naught when the input is A, we have two possible transition. One is a self loop to Q naught itself, and another one it goes to Q one. Okay, so this is the difference that is there between a DFA and a NFA. In a DFA, you will be having exactly one transition. When it comes to your NFA, you have you will be having multiple transition and sometimes no transition too. Okay, so in this case, I'll write this uh, place separately. See, how will you find transition of Q naught comma Q one when the input is A? So this can be expanded and written as transition of Q naught on A union transition of Q one on A. Okay, so that is how we represent things. It is union of both the criteria. So now, what is transition of Q naught on A? Q naught when the input is A, you have two possibility. One is Q naught, another one it goes to Q one. So here you have two possibility. And what is Q one on A? Q one on A, you you don't have any transition. So finally, it leads to Q naught and Q one. So here del can be represented as the result of transition of Q naught Q one on A is Q naught Q one. Okay. And the final result is B. Now find the transition. It is transition of Q naught on B union transition of Q naught on sorry Q one on B. Okay. So what is transition of Q naught on B? Q naught when the input is B, it stays in Q naught itself. And transition of Q one on B, Q one on B it goes to Q two state. Okay. So in case of NFA, when you are finding extended transition function, the result will be either null or some set of states. Everything is possible. Okay. So we are here. We have some set of states as a resultant one. Okay. So the next step is how we are going to define the language acceptance. So language acceptance of any uh, NFA or DFA can be defined as we take any string. And finding this del cap from the starting state on the input, if it has some set of states, if the state that leads to is in F, F is the set of possible final state. If it is in F, then the input is accepted. See here we have two states, and out of these two states, Q two is the final state. So there is a possibility of getting final state over here with the input by processing this input. So this means that the input is accepted in this criteria. Okay. So in case of DFA, finding extended transition function of a state on an input, it leads to a single state. If that single state is in final state, the input is accepted. In case of your NFA, finding extended transition function for a state from a state on an input, you will be having a multiple state or null state. If there are multiple states, and if one final state is there, then the input is accepted. At least one should be there. Okay, so this is the extended transition function for NFA. Thank you.